let's kind of look at if um, well, I have ten minutes still. I don't want to just be blanketing. Something that tends to, let's look at this. Let's say that um, let's say that theta is equal to um, seven pi over four. And we want to find all six trig, uh, trigonometric um, values or, or terminal points right, for that or values. Find all six trigonometric, other abbreviated trig values. Okay, what's the first thing we got to do? <coughs> find the Find, yeah, find the reference. Well, even before that. Well, the reference segment. What's that? Find the reference segment. Right. Pi over 4. But it helps to draw it, right? Well, where is, where, first of all, where is our terminal side going to be? Or our, our, our sign that ends, right? Our angle. Is it going to be quadrant 1, 2, 3, or 4? Four? 4. 4, right. So one way you can tell is 2 pi is the same thing in reference to pi over 4. 2 pi is 8 pi, eight pi over 4, right. And pi, what's that in reference to? 4 pi over 4, right. So those help to know those, okay. So that means our angle goes all the way around. So that means 7 pi over 4, right, is going to be in quadrant 4, all right? Well, we need to know what our reference angle is, which we know is pi over 4, right? So therefore, if, actually I got this up here. You want to write this down. Write it down and know it. Okay? We're going to have another quiz on this. Another quiz on the unit circle. Okay? This week. Maybe even tomorrow. So, we know that pi over 4 is what value? Square root of 2 over 2. Right. Square root of 2 over 2. Square root of 2 over 2. So, therefore, for 7 pi over 4, this would be a positive square root of 2 over 2. What about, this is cosine, right? What about sine? Negative. Bless you. Negative you. square root of 2 over 2. Okay? And therefore, tangent is going to be negative 1, right? Because it's sine over cosine, which would be square root of 2 over 2, negative square root of 2 over 2, and everything cancels, right? And so you get negative 1. Okay, so... I don't need to draw this because we have it on the board. But you want to draw this on your homework every time. And if you don't know it yet, you should draw it for every problem. You got to know these. Like multiplication tables, you got to know those. You got to know these too. These are like your multiplication tables for, for trig. Okay? And you got to know them well enough to be able to, to at least be able to rattle this off in, in the first quadrant. Okay? So we've got, we want to get sine, so go ahead and, and, and write sine, cosine, tangent, and then um, the reciprocal identities. I'm not going to tell you what they are, I want you to go ahead and, and write those down.
What's the sign? Negative square root 2 Yeah. So it helps to write, you know, cosine and sine on here. Negative square root 2 over 2. Now the reciprocal of sine is what? Cosecant, right. And so this would make it negative what? Two root two over two, but we want to simplify that, right? Because what can the twos can cancel, right? So therefore, that's what just negative, negative just two. negative square root two, right? Okay. And now for uh, cosine, square root two over two. right? That's going to be a positive square root two over <coughs> two. And what's the reciprocal? Is yeah, secant, right? And so that would make it a positive square root 2, right? Tangent? Negative 1. Negative 1, right. And so therefore, <coughs> cotangent negative one. is negative 1 over 1, right? So that's just negative 1 as well. Okay? So does that help?